as soon as I got a ball, I was playing. I would play on my own against the wall for hours. It was meant more to me than films or anything. I, I lived for football, really, and so did my friends. You know. Arsenal, at that period, when I was about eight, nine, ten, they were the, the team. So you wouldn't think of supporting your Chelsea or anybody else, because they were the team and they were winning everything. I only could watch the reserves because I couldn't afford to pay the full price to go in the, in the stadium until I was much, much older. When I was about, I suppose, eight or nine, we would wait outside the player's exit. We, we always used to say, carry your bag, mister. It was about two or three hundred yards to the tube station and we would carry their bags to the tube station. And the reserve teams always gave you a good tip, but the main team were mean. They never gave you a good tip at all. It was exciting to be talking to a footballer. Talking, he spoke to me, you know, he's like bloody gods. I remember him the most, David Jack, because he had a house next door to my aunt. And I used to deliberately go over there to my aunt and I knew he would probably come next door. And he'd come next door and he would chat to me. And all oh, I felt. David Jack spoke to me, you know. I've always followed the Arsenal. And that's it. I wouldn't swap for another team. It's funny really, isn't it?